Hello, I'm Brian Farrell, and welcome to Pace IT's session on inkjet printers. Today we're going to be talking about inkjet printer parts, how inkjet printers work, and then we will conclude with inkjet printer maintenance. Now with that, let's go ahead and dive in to today's session. So of course, we're going to begin by talking about inkjet printer parts. First up are the ink cartridges. Now these are designed to work with specific printers. They're the main consumable resource of any inkjet printer. Color inkjets use the CMYK, the cyan, magenta, yellow, black color process to produce the RGB, the red, blue, green color spectrum. There are two main types of print heads with inkjet printers. The first one is the fixed head printer. Now the fixed head is attached to the carriage. It is designed to last the lifetime of the printer. Then there are the disposable head. These are attached to the ink cartridges themselves. They are designed to be replaced when the ink cartridge is replaced. Then there is the carriage and belt assembly. This carries the print heads back and forth across the page as the page is being printed. Now let's talk about rollers and feeders. This is where one or more roller is designed to pick up paper from the paper tray and feed it through the printer at a constant rate. And finally, there's the duplex assembly, which allows for two-sided printing. It's an add-on attachment for some inkjet printers. The duplex assembly can be used when two-sided printing is desired. After the first side of the page is printed, the duplex assembly will actually turn the paper over and send it back through the printer. This allows for the back side of the page to be printed without user intervention. Now let's move on to how inkjet printers work. First off, inkjet printers are the most common printer in the small office, home office environment. Why? Because they're relatively inexpensive they're easy to use and they're easy to maintain. Inkjet printers can be capable of producing good to very high quality print jobs. Some are capable of producing fine streams of ink that achieve 1,440 by 720 dots per inch. Now there are two main types of inkjet printers. There's the piezoelectric type printer. Now this is where an electric charge is applied to a crystal in the print head causing the print head to vibrate. This vibration causes ink to spray out in a fine stream. The piezoelectric print head constantly has ink running through it, so it's always ready to receive that electrical charge and print. Then there are thermal inkjet or bubble jet printers. In this case, heat is used at the print head to cause the ink to bubble or boil. When the bubbles burst, a fine spray of ink occurs and lands on the page. The thermal print head only receives ink as needed for printing. So unlike the piezoelectric type printer, the print head only has ink in it when it's ready to spray it out. Now let's talk about the printing process. The computer sends the print job to the printer as a raster image. A raster is a line of dots that are used to make up a portion of an image or a character on a page. A raster image is all of the lines of dots that make up an image or all of the characters on a page. The roller picks up a single page of paper and sends it through the printer. As the page passes by the carriage assembly, the ink is applied to the page. The belt attached to the carriage assembly moves the print head side to side, allowing the image or characters to be formed by the ink line by line. If a duplex assembly is attached and two-sided printing is requested, it will turn the page over and send it back through the printer for the other side to be printed. Now let's move on to inkjet printer maintenance. As with any maintenance task, first up is safety. Always read the manufacturer's maintenance and safety guides before performing any maintenance. The most common maintenance job with any inkjet printer is replacing inkjet cartridges. This is the most common maintenance task. You need to replace the cartridges as required. 
Once you replace them, you need to run the supplied calibration software to ensure that quality print jobs are produced. The next most common maintenance task is paper debris removal. Now, paper dust and debris can easily clog a printer. In most cases, using compressed air can clean out the printer of this debris. Always use eye protection when blowing dust and debris out of the printer. And finally, there's print head cleaning. Most inkjet printers come with software that contains a print head cleaning process. Run the cleaning cycle as required. With fixed print head type printers, it is possible to use isopropyl alcohol and cotton swabs to clean off dried ink from the nozzle to help improve the quality of print jobs. Now that concludes this session on inkjet printers. We talked about inkjet printer parts, we talked about how inkjet printers work, and we concluded with inkjet printer maintenance. Now on behalf of Pace IT, thank you for watching this session, and I look forward to doing another one.